Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some romance books with plus size representation in them. I think I've made quite a few of these videos already, so I'll leave my previous ones linked down below if you wanna check those out. So yeah, in every book that I'm going to mention today, one or both of the characters in the couple is plus size. So let's get started, I've kind of like section them into categories. So the first ones we're gonna talk about are the two contemporary ones I wanna mention. First is The Sea Witch by Katie Robert. This is the fifth book in the Wicked Villain series. You don't really have to read these ones in order, but I do recommend it because I, I, I like all of them, but you could definitely read this as a standalone. This is a Little Mermaid retelling. This is a romance between basically Ursula, Ariel, and Eric. Ursula in here is a very wealthy and um, important person in society. She's kind of famous at this point um, for being kind of dangerous and skeevy a little bit. And she somehow convinces Ariel in this situation. I think she has a different name in the book, but I'm gonna call her Ariel. Um, she convinces Ariel to put herself up for auction at this this place. This whole series takes place in this one club that is really, really fun to read about. <laughs> and yeah, she kind of like tricks her to do this to get back at Ariel's father. Um, but then she ends up purchasing Ariel for a certain amount of time and she actually falls in love with her even though she did not mean to. Also, Eric is in here too and it's a throuple between the three of them. I really enjoyed this one. It's not my favorite in the series, but um, I still had fun. Like this was definitely a fun read. And I just love these covers that Katie put together and commissioned because look at how beautiful all these characters are and how beautiful Ursula looks. Like, come on. I am loving covers where they're finally putting plus size people on them. You know, like sometimes you read plus size romances and the cover model does not show that they're plus size, you know? So this one I love. This is spoiler alert by Olivia Dade. Olivia Dade has, I think like a plus size character in every single book that she writes. Um, so definitely go check out Olivia Dade if you haven't yet. Um, but this is a kind of like ode to fan fiction romance. Our hero in here is the star to this fantasy TV show, very Game of Thrones-esque. He's a star of it, uh, but he's not really liking where the show is going. And so on the side, he decides to write some fan fiction, even though no one knows about it in his real life because he could get in trouble for doing that. So he's been doing this for a couple of years and he's been friends with this one person online for years on this fan fiction site. They don't know who the other person actually is in person, um, but they're very close friends. They read each other's work and they talk about other stuff too. Um, that's actually April. And April is a mega fan of this show. So she decides to put together a cosplay of a character on this show and post it on Twitter. But then she gets some hate comments because there are fat phobic people in the world and we hate that. Um, and Marcus just so happens to see said tweet and comments on her post saying that she's beautiful and he would love to take her out sometime. And again, they don't know that this is their friend online. The two of them start dating in person and then one of them slowly realizes that oh this is my online friend and then it takes them a while to actually like tell them about what's going on but um i really enjoyed this this was really fun and i'm a fan fiction reader and so this was very fun for me too be aware for this one though there is a lot of discussion about april's mother being very fat phobic for her of like about her daughter and april's experienced some trauma from that so please be aware before going into this. A historical romance that I would love to mention is Chasing Cassandra. This is book number six, six in the Ravenel series. Um, I feel like you could read this one on its own if you want to, but the other books in the series are amazing as well. This is another unfortunate situation where the cover does not show that the heroine is plus size. So Cassandra in here really wants a family and wants children, like that's her main dream in life is to have a family. Um, all of her other siblings have already been married and um, she's kind of like the last one who has not been married yet. And so she goes to her cousin. I remember back then people married their cousins, it was normal. Um, she goes to her cousin and is like, hey, how about we get married? Um, because we're both not married and I really want a family. And he gently tells her like, no, uh, I don't think we should do that. And Tom is actually in the room, like sneaky, sneakily listening to this conversation. And immediately when he sees Cassandra, he is like infatuated with her. He thinks she's beautiful and stunning. And he's like, I will marry you. I'll marry you. I'll do it. <laughs> like he is obsessed with her. And at first she's like, no, because he basically claims that he doesn't love and that's what she wants out of a relationship. But then when they get to know each other more, she slowly realizes that she's falling in love with Tom and she's trying to teach him like the way that he's feeling about her and the way that he feels about her, that is love. Like that is love he needs to get with the program, okay? I just love this couple so much. Tom and Cassandra are amazing. And Cassandra in here at one point also is a little bit self-conscious about the way that she looks. And Tom is like, are you joking? Are you joking? You are the most stunning woman I have ever seen in my life. Like, 
I want you so bad. Don't ever think that because I never think bad things of you in that way. Like you are stunning. I just love this couple so much and more people need to read about Tom and Cassandra. Next is a monster romance. This is Deceived by the Gargoyles by Lillian Lark. This is a romance where our heroine is trying to find the love of her life, like kind of like her mate. Um, so she goes to this mating agency, uh, matchmaking agency to get matched up. She's a witch. And so she's kind of like trying to get set up with another magical person. She ends up getting matched with Elliot um who happens to be a gargoyle um and they end up really hitting it off they're both hoping to get something more out of this than just dating but then Elliot reveals that he has a secret and he actually has two mates at home and they want or he specifically wants and then they want Grace the heroine to join them um so it's an M M M M M F three M's and an F <laughs> this was a really fun monster romance the cover is stunning i think lillian does all of her own covers they're beautiful and this is one that i love because grayson here is so confident in her own skin like so confident in her body and i loved love love to see that all the rest of the books there is six left all of them are alien romances. So first is Choosing Theo by Victoria Aveline. Jaden here is a human woman who has been abducted from Earth and she ends up crashing on this one planet called Calcania. And they have some specific customs there when it comes to their females and aliens. And so to protect her from other aliens on the planet, they tell her about this bride or husband choosing ceremony where all the women of this planet are um, forced to choose a husband. And Jade ends up choosing Theo, who is one of the men who never really get picked because of the scars all over his body. And the people in Calcania are very revered for perfection in society. Um, And so people kind of think Theo is gross looking like not good looking he's ugly because of the scars all over his body um but jade is totally totally into him and is very attracted to him and theo at first thinks that jade is like a spy or something because what woman would want him like there have been so many women in his life that have rejected him and so he's like this woman must be a spy because why would she choose me and then he slowly realizes like oh she actually did choose me and he has to grovel some for some of the things that he chooses to do <laughs> to Jade. Um, but they have to live together. Um, this one is such a cute romance. It's my favorite one in this series and Jade is a stunner. She is a stunner. I love her. We have uh, three Ruby Dixon ones I want to mention. Of course, we have Barbarian's Taming, which is book number nine in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. This is the romance between Hassan and Maddie. You've read about Hassan in... Uh, one of the previous books in the series where he ends up actually kidnapping Maddie's sister and thinking like they're being mates and then they're not mates. And so he comes back to the tribe, he gets kicked out of the tribe. <laughs> and um, actually Maddie kind of like gets to know him again, even though he did kidnap her sister, he's very sorry about it. Uh, and the two of them learn how to hunt together or Hassan teaches Maddie to hunt and they spend more time together and um, the two fall in love. It's a lot of people's favorite and rightfully so, Maddie is so strong and a kick butt woman. I love her. Next is When She's Bold, which is Ristaverse number six. This is a very short novella. Lucy in here is on this planet called Rista 3, which is a planet um, filled with a bunch of aliens. But a lot of the time human women will come to this planet who have been abducted from Earth, trying to kind of like seek refuge. And so Lucy is one of those women. She owns a farm and she has a very huge crush on kind of like one of the police officers in this planet named Rektar. And she's trying really hard to like show him how much she has a crush on him. She'll come visit him at his office every day and bring him baked goods. She loves baking. And he just will not take the hint that this woman is crushing on him. And all of his coworkers are trying to tell him too. And he's just like, whoop, right over his head. Does not get it. But this one is just super, super cute. Rektar and Lucy are adorable. Um, and I love when Rektar finally realizes that Lucy's into him. He's like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> we also have uh, Adiron by Ruby Dixon. Um, this is another Jade heroine. Uh, Jade in here was abducted from Earth with a bunch of other human women. And they're on this spaceship um, that's kind of just floating in the middle of nowhere. And it's actually the spaceship that a lot of people have been trying to find. They think that this ship has a lot of treasure on it, supposedly, people have said this. So Adiron and his three brothers are trying to track down this ship because they're space pirates. They're trying to find treasure. They end up finding the ship, they get aboard on it, and they end up finding these women on there. There's no treasure. The treasure in this case are human slaves. And they're like, oh no. And so they're trying to free them. The human women though, think that they're crying, trying to kidnap them. And so they, <laughs> They go and trick them to stand in this one room, lock all the doors, and 
emit like passing out gas. <laughs> and the moment Adoran sees uh, Jade through this window of this room, he meets eyes with her, her eyes meet with his, and he is smitten. He's like passing out from this gas and he's like, that woman is the love of my life. I will have her. <laughs> Um, and so the two of them actually by some means have to be on this spaceship alone, like everyone else leaves and you figure out why when you read the book. Um, but they end up getting on the spaceship alone and having to spend a lot of quality time together. And Jade um, has a lot of trauma in the past uh, when it comes to men and relationships. And so Adoran is trying to show her like, I am obsessed with you. Don't you see like, I want you so bad. I'm obsessed with you. Will you just be mine? Like, will you? Come on. <laughs> the other two alien romance books that I have are from Grace Goodwin. Um, the cover of this one does not show plus size rep, um, but this is a sign to mate. This is actually book one in the Interstellar Bride Program series. So each book in the series is about a human woman getting kind of like a mail order bride match to an alien man. So our heroine in here has been matched to this one planet and with an alien king. And she thinks that she is not deserving of being matched to an alien king because of the way that she looks and the hero gets so mad at her and it's like, how dare you think that I don't want you? How dare you think horrible things about yourself when I think you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. And this series is full of BDSM. So please be aware of that. Proceed with caution if that is not your thing. And so yeah, these books are very graphic and quite short and honestly just see me fun. And then another book in the series that I wanna mention is Tamed by the Beast. So the heroine in this one has been matched to an Atlan alien, an Atlan alien warrior. So Atlans in this series are aliens that have a beast mode. These warriors are able to grow kind of like think the Incredible Hulk, but not green. So they're able to morph into their beast mode, get giant like the Hulk. And so they're only able really to do this when they are in mating fever. Their bodies are kind of like on a clock. And if they have not found their fated mate by a specific time in their life, like their their body has a clock. If they have not found their fated mate by this certain time, their body will go into beast mode where they cannot shift out of their beast form and they will be a danger to society. And so if they cannot find their mate by a certain point, they will be put down because they will eliminate everything in their path. So our hero in here, he is actually about to be executed because they have not been able to find his mate and he is about to run rampant in society, go all out attack everyone. And the heroine just gets matched to him literally hours before he's about to be executed. And so she has to go save him. She's also a tall plus size human woman. Um, so there's that representation in, in there too. I love to mention when a heroine is tall because I know some of my viewers love to read books with tall heroines because we don't see that a lot in romances. We read a lot of petite, tiny, short women. And so this one has a strong, tall, plus size woman in there. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some plus size romance recommendations for you. Please let me know down below if you read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you have any recommendations for us, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any yellow emoji you want in the comment section. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.